Hey, what's up guys, Andrew here. And in this video, I'll show you how to set up voice meter banana. I also show you how to make it work with OBS, Discord and Skype. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go to the website, vb-audio.com, install voice meter banana. Once you finish installing voice meter banana, make sure you install the virtual audio cable. Once you install the virtual audio cable, as well as voice meter banana, reboot your machine. The next thing we want to do is make sure voice meter banana starts whenever we start our machine. So let's do that. Let's search for voice meter banana, pin it to your taskbar so you can find it. Right? So let's do open. We're going to go to menu. We're going to check auto restart audio engine. We're also going to check system tray run at startup. The next thing we want to do is set your default inputs and outputs. So we're going to go to open sound settings, sound control panel. And under playback, we want to make sure that voice meter input is your default device and make sure the voice meter aux input is your default communications device under playback. Under the recording tab, we want to make sure that voice meter aux output is your default device. And we want to make sure that your microphone is your default communications device under the recording tab. Hit OK and close out. The next thing we're going to do is rename our input tracks. We have five input tracks one, two, three, four, five. To rename the tracks, all you have to do is right click on the name and put in the word that you want, right? So for the first one, we're going to right click and we're going to name this Mike. Second one, we're going to rename apps. Third one, we're not going to use at this time. So we're going to name it an A. Next one is usually desktop sounds. So we're going to name that desktop. And the last one we're going to rename voice over IP. So the next thing we're going to do is set the inputs and outputs in voice meter banana. I have two outputs and the reason I have two outputs is because a 50 runs on batteries and a 40 does not. I like to use the wireless most of the time. Once it starts running out of battery, I could put it on a charger and pick up the A40. So we're going to go to hardware out and we're going to select our main out minus A50 under the KS driver. And for A2, I have KS, which is the A40. For my microphone, your main microphone, definitely set that up. Mine is WDM microphone ATR2100, which is what I use there. Okay. Once you set that, you want it, you want to be able to monitor what's happening on those inputs. So the way to do that is to make sure that whatever output that you enabled, you want those to be checked on the input channels. So I have A1, A2 as output. So A1, A2 needs to be checked on every single channel that I want to hear information on, right? So if I want to hear myself as I'm speaking, so I can adjust myself either closer to the mic or away from the mic, I need to make sure that whatever I'm using as a headset at the time, I can hear myself. So in this example, right now, as I'm recording this, I'm using the A40. So if I uncheck A2, I won't be able to hear myself in the A40. But because I have it checked, I can hear what's happening on that channel. Uh, same thing happens for the apps. If you do not have your out selected here, you will not be able to hear what's happening with your VLC or your browser, Spotify or whatever you're running. You will not be able to hear what's happening. So these need to be checked or whichever one that you selected as your output needs to be checked. Same thing for desktop applications, same thing for voice over IP apps, which includes Discord and Skype and Zoom and all those apps. So since I have two outputs, A1 and A2, 
it's checked for every single input that I need to hear things on. The next thing that we want to set up is we want to make sure that any application that plays music or any type of sounds, we want to make sure those applications are rounded in the app section of voice meter banana. The way we do that is we go to open sound settings, scroll down to advanced sound options, click on app volume and device preferences. And the apps in focus right now are pretzel and VLC media player. So since those play sounds and music and different things like that, or videos, whatever you decide to play in those applications, we want to make sure any application like that or similar uh, in nature that their output is the cable input VB audio virtual cable. So as you see for VLC media player, that is the output, which is a cable input as well as pretzel, which is the cable input. Those are default for those applications. So we're going to close that and we're going to test it. So now once I play VLC, that audio should play through voice meter since we set it up. Okay. So we know that's working. Once I do the same thing for pretzel, which is this application here, that sound should play through the app section that we set up in voice meter banana. Okay, great. So we got that set up. The next thing that we want to set includes the limiters and telepin and audibility. So when we're listening to audio, the, the thing that we want to make sure that uh, we're paying attention to is that our audio is not going into the red. Our audio is not peaking. So the way to set that in voice meter banana is by clicking on the VU meter and pulling it down. So let's see. I'm going to click on a VU meter, pull it down and set our values. Okay. So we could do it that way. The other way that we could do it is by right clicking on a VU meter and setting our value. So my value is negative six. So I can right click and hit negative six and set the value for each input that I'm using. As you can see, I have negative six set up in every single input, including the inputs that are the desktop and the voice over IP. Now, the next thing that we want to look at is IntelliPan. IntelliPan allows you to set your tone modulation. And also you can use a feature in IntelliPan to check your headsets. So the first menu for IntelliPan includes the voice tone. You can either have less space in the voice or more treble, depending on how you decide to set that up for yourself. Double clicking on the double left clicking on the IntelliPan resets the actual inputs that you put in, right? So then, so for me, I usually have it here in the, the top quadrant on the left side, um, enough base and enough clarity, uh, for my voice. And I think that's like a, a, a perfect balance there. If you right click on IntelliPen, you go into the second, uh, box here, which is the modulation. Once you start moving it around, make some interesting sounds, double left clicking resets it, right? Right clicking goes to the next menu, which is the positioning menu. And from there, you can go on the left side to check to make sure the left side of the headset is working or the right side, double left clicking resets the menu and right clicking it again, goes back to the first menu. So we've looked at limiters. We've looked at the IntelliPen. The next thing that we want to look at is audibility. If you're a very soft speaker, then you want to set the compression a little higher. So you're not straining your voice on the microphone. If you have a lot of fan noises or, um, people ringing your doorbell at random times, you have a dog and, or a cat in the background that makes a lot of noise then you want to set your gate above that noise. So as they're 
making the noise in the background, raise the gate until the voice disappears. So the compressor is to raise the volume of the voice and the gate is to remove the noises in the background. Okay, so now we have the limiters done, we have IntelliPan done, and we have Audibility done. The next thing that we wanna do is set up Discord for Voice Meter Banana. Head over to your voice and video section in your Discord. Make sure that your input is your microphone device. And also make sure that the output device says voice meter aux input for your selection. Voice meter aux input. That's what you want for the output device in Discord. Once we have that checked, we want to make sure that that is coming in through the input of the voice over IP that we set in voice meter banana. So we're going to check it right now. Check. 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 As you can see that we're receiving uh, the signal in the voice over IP for voice meter banana for Discord. The next thing we want to set up is voice meter banana and Skype. So if you want Skype to come in in your voice meter banana application, you're going to go to the audio and video section in the Skype application. Make sure that your primary mic is selected. And in the speaker section, you want voice meter aux input selected, and we're going to test it right now. So once we hit test audio, it should reflect in the voice over IP section and the VU meter. Okay, so that's working as well. Next, we're going to look at the settings for OBS. The first thing you want to do is go to settings and go to audio, make sure the desktop audio is in default because we set it at the very beginning of the tutorial. Make sure your mic is reflected here and you can close that out. For my input capture, I named it input. I wanna definitely show you my filters and you can note the settings for that. So let's look at that. So we have filters, I have an expander, Definitely pause it here and look at the settings. I have a limiter at negative six and 60 milliseconds for the release. I have a noise suppression at negative 30 dB from my input capture. For the output, let's look at the filters there. For the output, I have a compressor. Definitely pause it here to note the settings. Make sure your microphone is here. So whatever you've named your microphone, make sure your microphone is in this section here. For the limiter, I have negative 20. And the release at 60 milliseconds for the output. Now, this section is where you're going to add the apps and comms meters inside of OBS. So the, what you want to do here is you want to right click and you want to add an audio input capture and you want to name it apps and we're going to do test. So, so once, once that, that comes, comes up, you, you want to find the cable output VB audio virtual cable. You want the cable output in this section here, hit OK and definitely set the filters for that. Okay, so for the app filters, so I can show you that. I have a compressor and note the settings here, six, negative 42, 500 and zero. Make sure your microphone input is in this section here and close that out. So next we're gonna add a comms VU meter in OBS. This one is going to be an audio output capture. Okay, so we're going to name that comms test since we already have one in the system. And then once that comes up, you want to make sure it says voice meter aux input, voice meter aux input. VB audio voice meter aux VAIO, and you want to 
hit OK on that. Next, I'm going to show you the comms filters that I have. I have a limiter at negative 6 dB. The release is 60 milliseconds. That's what I have here. And those are my settings for OBS for voice meter banana. Next thing we want to look at is to make sure that the apps meter is working properly inside of OBS. So we're going to bring up VLC again here. Once we start playing the music, it should automatically appear in the app section of OBS. And once I start speaking, the music should automatically lower itself. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode. All right. So it's working. The next thing that we want to test is discord. We want to make sure that when we do a test in discord, that it shows up in our comms meter in OBS. And we're going to run the test now. Check, 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 check. And that's working. The next thing we want to do is to make sure that Skype is working properly with our settings in OBS. We're going to test the audio. And once we test the audio, it should appear in the comms section inside of OBS. Let's run the test now. And that's working as well. So now we want to look at voice meter banana and podcasting. We've laid out all the groundwork. We've done all the settings. We have all the setup done. We have discord and Skype ready to go. We, we did all the settings there. Now, what if we wanted to podcast with voice meter banana? And it's very simple to do it in voice meter banana. Just right click on the cassette tape and let's look at our settings here. We have one, two, three, four, five inputs and a pre fader inputs one, two, three, four, five. As you can see, I have my mic on to record and the virtual aux record. So virtual aux is our voice over IP input and the physical input number one is my mic input. Also, if you see my target directory is my music directory. I decided to go with wave. I've done the sample rate at 48 Hertz. I have two channels here and my pre fader is selected and that's pretty much it. So once a conversation is happening in discord or, you know, the conversation is already in the flow of things and everyone's ready to go, you just hit record and it starts recording. That's pretty much it. And once it's done recording, then you hit stop and you go to menu, you eject the cassette to release the audio file and you go to the target destination, edit the file to your liking and share it with the world. This concludes the voice meter banana tutorial. I hope you found value in the tutorial with the OBS stuff and discord and Skype and everything that you can do with this program. It de it's definitely a very, very powerful program. I hope it serves you well. Uh, definitely like share a uh, comment. Let me know what you thought about everything that was mentioned in this tutorial and I'll see you on the next one.